fellow home business owners. I'm going to give you a simple monofocus that's going to help you become, you know, profitable as quickly as possible because the focus I'm going to give you is a profitable focus that's to be repeated every day on a consistent basis. There's a lot of focuses out there to be had. A lot of them aren't profitable. This one is intentionally and purposefully profitable. So stick around a few minutes. This is going to be short but sweet training. So take notes and implement fast because success loves speed. So here we go. The simple focus is going to be to generate leads every day. Stick around. What I mean by a lead for the purpose of this training is going to be anytime somebody expresses an interest or an openness in what you're doing, your deal, your opportunity, whatever. So here's what it is. So there's going to be two main places that these leads are going to come from. People that have an interest or an openness that they've expressed to you. One is going to be just one-on-one -on -one communication. You ask a peak interest question to see if they even want to learn about your deal. And they say, sure, or it depends, maybe, what is it? Either way, that's an interest they've expressed, that's a lead. The other main way that you're gonna develop leads is by developing content or resyndicating content and you put it out there on social media, you know, something you put out there in the public forum where anybody can see it and anybody can say, hey, that sounds pretty cool, tell me more. That's the other main way of developing leads. So now that you know what leads are and the two main ways that they're gonna come from, here's what I want you to do. This is, this is your call to action or your plan of action if you want to take me up on this to increase your profitability and be focused on being profitable every day so you can create your freedom and create contribution more quickly for whatever that means for you because it's important for you. So what I want you to do is decide how many leads do you want to generate on a day-to-day -day basis. I recommend at least two as a minimum. If you really want to build your business, Go for two every day. It's, it's really not that hard, especially as you develop yourself in the beginning. Just know it's normal to be like, well, how am I going to do that? Totally fine. I want, your, I want your eyeball to be on that goal of at least two a day. If you want to build up more quickly, go for four a day. Go for five a day. Go for ten a day if you want to be super aggressive. If, if you want to get to your, your personal freedom and your benchmarks and whatever more quickly, the bigger the number, generally speaking, the faster you're going to get there. But at least two, just so that there's a reasonable expectation of what it's going to take to build your business. At least doing a little bit of something every day. And the beauty of a little bit of something every day is anybody can do it. So it duplicates. All right, so now that we have that number in mind, we'll just use, we'll use an example of five, but go for at least two. But for this example, okay, five. I want to develop five leads every single day. That's when you're going to plant your, your flagpole and these, I'm going to give you a few different variables now and these variables are going to be wrapped around where you've staked your flagpole. So you've got that envisioned in your brain. So your eye is on the target of at least five a day or whatever number that you picked. That's where your flagpole is. Now here's the variables I want you to toy around with that to make that a reality every single day. So in my daily list of core activities, I've got among them, I've got, you know, you're going to talk to 20 people a day that you've never talked to before. And it's going to be about anything other than your opportunity, your deal. The sole purpose of this is going to be to just expand your warm market, make more friends, expand your influence, expand your circle. Because if you don't do that, you're going to burn out your warm market and then your business dries up. So 20 people a day you've never talked to before. I've got trainings on that. I'm not going to get into that here. Another variable I want you to toy with is I generally recommend inviting 10 or more people a day into your deal or into your opportunity. And by that, I mean a peak interest question. So you're not directly inviting people into your deal. You're inviting people. You're, you just want to see if people even want to know about or learn more about your deal to see if it's something they'd consider, to see if it's something they'd want to do with you. So there, that's a big difference. I got trainings on how to do that too, so I'm not going to get into that here. But those are two numbers I want you to toy with. 20 people a day that you've never talked to before, just to expand your circle, your warm market, and 10 invitations. Now, everybody has got their own set of circumstances and you're at a particular point in your life and there's no two people that have the same exact circumstances in their life. So there's impossible for me to do a training that's going to fit everybody. But what, what I will show you to do is how to adapt this training so that it can work for you no matter what's going on. And that's pretty priceless. So let's say for example, you've got this goal of, okay, I'm going to get five leads every single day. 
and right now I know absolutely nobody because I've never met anybody in my entire life <laughs> so I have no more market now that's pretty extreme but just for the teaching sake of this of this video let's say that's you or you just know a couple of people so in the beginning you're probably not going to be inviting 10 a day because you don't know 10 people to invite so you could invite cold market and by that you know cold market is people that you don't know versus warm market which is people that you, you do know on some level that generally doesn't work out too well for most people especially me so unless you take in some really intense cold market training which there's a lot of value to that because that's a market that can never dry up because there's billions of people you've never met before but for most of us it's going to be much more profitable to spend your time developing your warm market and then inviting those so you're going to constantly develop your warm market and add to it so that you never run out of people that you can invite within your warm market. That's the idea behind reaching out to new 20 or so new people every day that you've never spoken to before about anything other than your deal. So now that we got that out of the way, let's say that you just don't know anybody. So to, to get back to that, um, you're not going to invite 10 people a day. It's not going to work out. So instead of talking to 20 new people a day to expand your warm market, Talk to 40 people a day or more. Maybe invite one or two people a day if you know a couple people. But then as you're talking to so many new people a day, your warm market's probably start going to start to build up pretty quickly. And that's a good thing. And then eventually you can invite a few more people a day, a few more people a day. What started out as maybe one or two people a day or no people a day, uh, you can start inviting five people a day. And then eventually maybe 10 people a day, which is a pretty cool thing. And then you're still talking to 20 or more people or so a day. Now, that's you're going to you're going to fool around and play with those variables and i want you to know that when you start on day 1 you're not going to know exactly what to do so just get started do the 2010 do that one if that's if that's all you know to do because that's what i just taught you and then based on what happens you're going to know if you need to adjust those numbers if you're developing you know, your, your, your target of five a day or two a day or whatever it is, then you know to keep building on that with those numbers. If you're developing no leads or you're falling short of your goal, you know you got to do something with those numbers and start playing with those variables. Maybe instead of 2010, you're doing, I don't know, 35. Or maybe you're reversing that order. Or maybe you're the rare person and you actually need to send more invitations and talk to new people. So maybe you're going to send 20 invitations talking to 10 new people instead of 2010 you got 10 20 it's possible I don't know your situation but you're gonna figure it out the main thing is you jump in and you get started and then you can construct away once you get started but remember your flagpole is that number I want five leads or so a day and then you toy with those variables around that to make that happen and uh, if you want to build your business more quickly go for 10 leads a day but that's what you need to have in the forefront of your brain that's your monofocus and then all your other daily core activities are going to be around that monofocus. And also, I want to point out another daily core activity is you know the attraction content that you share that anybody can respond to and say, yeah, that sounds awesome. Tell me more about it. That was one of the major ways of developing leads. You might find that you get so good at that someday that you really don't have to send out many invitations at all or talk to new people because now you got all these people that are friending up with you that you've never talked to before they're finding you because of your content and your friends sharing your amazing attractive content so now maybe you don't need to talk to as many new people a day but you can if you still want to and just be super aggressive but um, when that's happening for you you're gonna find that you don't you're not doing it out of a neediness which is really cool in the beginning you need to do these things because you're just starting you, you need to build momentum and the same thing with your invitations maybe because of the content you're posting, you just post like one thing and bam, you get 50 people that say, I want to know more. You may not have to send out any invitations for a few days because you got all those people that you got to put through your invitation sequence. How cool is that? So whatever your starting point is, uh, it's probably not going to be correct. But remember, you jump in, you get started, and you pay attention to the feedback because you know the number you're going for in terms of how many leads you want to generate. And then you figure it out. You toy with those variables until you get it. And then as you progress with your career, as you go down that journey, you're going to find that you're going to go into different phases of your career that's going to require you to uh, change those numbers up every so often. So you just got to be paying attention because your flagpole, remember, is that number. And you, 
you might decide, especially if you're like going for two, which is the minimum, which is fine. You may decide that you know eventually, hey, I'm getting better at this. I need to up my game and and rechallenge myself all over again. I'm going to get five a day now, or ten a day, or whatever it is. So that's it. That's the best I can teach it. And uh, if you do this, you find out what works for you in terms of meeting your goal of developing the number of leads that you want to generate every day and you continue to challenge yourself. I'm telling you, this is how you be profitable. This is a profitable focus every day. This is how you develop your freedom and your contribution and your impact and whatever else you want to do and for all the reasons that it is so important to you. And you will always, always either be pulled by that or you're going to be pushed around by your circumstances. So I recommend that you have some really important reasons, a big vision as to why developing freedom and creating contribution, whatever else you want, you got to know why that is so important to you and it's got to be stronger than any circumstance that could possibly push you around so that you're consistently doing this every day. Because no matter what I teach you, this is really good stuff, but no matter what, if you're not consistent with it every day, then it's not even this training is going to work and I'm just being forthright with you. So have that big vision. If this particular training helps you to create that vision and helps you to be more consistent, fantastic. But the point is, is your vision has to be big enough. Otherwise, this is just meaningless for you because you won't be consistent. So go to my website, TomBurkenmeyer.com. I know a lot of stuff. I've been doing this for a while now. And a lot of what I've learned is from making mistakes and trial and error and learning from other people's mistakes. And I put it all out there and my trainings, gosh, I think just about all of them or close to all of them are free. So dig around, pull out whatever makes sense for you with where you are at right now to progress forward. And I would love to hear about the success that you have, especially if I've had anything to do with it, even a little bit or a lot. I'd love to hear about it. TomBurkenmeyer.com. My next video is coming soon. So stick around, stay tuned, and I'm looking forward to hearing about your success stories. Bye for now.